What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Stochastic here on the Odd Chopper channel, coming to you with my three favorite prize picks for Sunday, the main slate. We're looking at it here right now. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell as we get going here. I love prize picks. You're going to love prize picks too once you check it out. Uh, if you have already, you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, use promo code also. We'll get $100 first match deposit bonus. We're talking props. We're talking more or less than certain prop numbers, whether it's pass yards, receiving yards, uh, rushing plus receiving yards, fantasy score, field goals made. That's something available. I'm not going to have a play from it. But so many different options, so many ways to play over at prize picks. You can play across multiple sports. You can do so many things. I do that with baseball and NFL all the time. Check it out, shall you? Yeah, let's just check it out now. Add to stream. Let's go. We're talking some prize picks. And my very first one out of the gate today, I can't quit him. I refuse to quit him. Marquez Valdez Scanley, more than 40 and a half receiving yards. I know. I know it's been very, very bad. It's been disturbing. And if you just decide to turn off the TV right now or the YouTubes, I would understand. Actually, no, I wouldn't because I'm trying to make you money. And I believe in this play as sick and gross as what it is. He's ran a route more than any wide receiver here. Juju Smith-Schuster is a shell of, well, I mean, he was just dust already and everybody wanted to talk about him. But MVS got paid the bag. He got paid $10 million a year to come over here to Kansas City. He played 73% and 79% of the offensive snaps in week one and two. So that is very, very good. Seven targets for just two receptions. DC, DC Jackson shut him down from the, San, or from the, I almost said San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers side. And it was a brutal uphill battle for him. Obviously, the late pick six took the Chiefs over the top there. Offensively, not their best performance, but against the Colts here, there is no resistance for a big body uh, big body thought he like Mr. MVS. I gotta be going his direction. I believe in him so much. I just see this getting torched on Sunday. This is the breakout emergent spot that we're looking for. You can do this on one pass. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that one catch, he has a catch over 40 and a half receiving yards and gets it over the top as is no big plays so far from Patrick Mahomes to, to MVS Juju Smith Schuster, Travis Kelsey will get in the mix here again, too. But, I mean, I know it's going to be a lot of wide receiver by committee with Hardman as well into the mix there. And I don't even know this Watson character. But I feel pretty good about MVS going forward because more routes ran than any wide receiver. More time on the field than any wide receiver from the Kansas City side. 6'4", 4'4", 4'3", speed. Like, let's just get it going, my friend. So, if he doesn't do it this time, I, I might have to start pumping the brakes here. But... I'm not quit. I'm not a quitter. So we're just going to be going that direction. Second play on the board, rushing plus receiving yards. I'm just going to type in his name because it'll save us a little bit of time here. This is a phenomenally low number, but it's Joe Mixon over of 93 and a half rushing plus receiving yards. He is the main back. He has been the feature back for Cincinnati for years now, and that hasn't changed. 73% and 76% of the snaps in weeks one and two. For me, rather than just saying, hey, he averaged this much or this much, I like looking at snap count and then looking at historical rates that they have in terms of yards per rush, yards per reception. He had 4.1 yards per attempt in 2021. That's all the way down to three yards per attempt so far this season. I understand they've had offensive line problems. That's more in pass protection. 401 Joe Bro, that, they've had offensive line problems all the way around for the last two years. It just, they played over top of them uh, to get to the Super Bowl last year, but he's leading the league in rushing attempts. 46 rushing attempts is more than any other running back so far. So if we could just get back to that, his last season's 4.1 yards per rush, this is just a phenomenal spot. And the reason that I'm incorporating this with receiving yards is regardless of pass script, even in these come from behind modes, he's out on the field. And he's always been capable of, of catching passes and being more prevalent in that regard. I feel like the rushing prop is pretty efficient on, on Joe Mixon here. But when you add in the receiving element, 8.9 yards per reception so far this season, that was more like 7.5 last season. So I can't just give you the good and the bad uh, on, on the rushing side and not give it to you for the receiving side. But I'm far more inclined to say, what's his opportunity? Well, he's got the far majority share of this backfield. And coming off an embarrassing loss to the Cowboys, I think they go out and just stomp all over the Jets on Sunday. 
Joe Mixon is going to be one of the reasons why. So get the receiving yards and the rushing yards into the mix there. Fire it up. Plus, if you have offensive line problems, what's the best thing to do? Well, I don't know. Maybe some design screen passes for a running back. Get it out of the backfield. Alleviate some pressure. These are just ideas, but I'm not a coach. I'm just trying to see what's going to happen. And I think Joe Mixon is in a great spot for Sunday. Now to my favorite play on the board for the Sunday main slate. Like, what is this? What are we doing here? Cooper Cup? We're, we're, we're not going to have him projected over 100 receiving yards? What? Have you watched him play football the last couple of years? The guy has 108 and 128 yards per, in his first two games this season. Allen Robinson, maybe he'll be better, but I don't really see how Arizona slows down Cooper Cup in any way, shape, or form. They've been in total defense, 32nd in the league in terms of total defense points per game, 31st against the pass in the first two weeks. Obviously, when you face Patrick Mahomes, that'll make it look a little wonky. And Derek Carr, they actually did a decent enough job on uh, in terms of the yardage, kind of shut down Devontae Adams in some spots. But this is Cooper Cup and Matt Stafford we're talking about. This is the the number one duo that you should be looking at in terms of well, can I correlate Stafford with Cooper Cup? And, and I'm going to be doing it with some prize picks, but I'm just giving you the three. And this one just makes no sense to me whatsoever. I, I'm, I'm actually at a loss for words. Every time I look at it, it reminds me. So if you go back to his 2021 numbers, his historical, ridiculous season last year, almost 2,000 yards reception, almost 2,000 yards receiving with 16 touchdowns, just throwing it in there. He's already got three touchdowns this season. He's got 24 receptions. I mean, anything you want to do for Cooper Cup in this spot at these numbers, you do it. But this is my favorite of all of them. I will say receptions is kind of an embarrassingly low number too, but um, I guess it's off the board right now. So Cooper Cup receiving yards. Take that to the bank, my friends. Those are my three favorite prize picks for Sunday. Marquez valdez Scanling. One-time dealer, over 40 and a half receiving yards. It's going to happen. Joe Mixon, 93 and a half rushing plus receiving yards in this spot. Good luck, Jets. And Cooper Cup, over 98 and a half. Just shoot that to the moon. Let me know what you think of my three prize picks for this Sunday. Uh, they're fantastic, in my personal opinion. We have so many props to be able to comb through over on prize picks that you want to be very selective. You should get it in good in all of these spots. And uh, you know, you should have some some theories basically built up for me. Just looking at opportunity. See who has the most opportunity. MVS on the field the most for Patrick Mahomes seems important. Joe Mixon, the backfield of Cincinnati against the Jets seems important. And Cooper Cup, because he's Cooper Cup, it all makes sense. So use promo code Osmo. Yes, still promo code Osmo to get $100 first match deposit over at Prize Picks. Looking forward to this Sunday. Hopefully you are too. I'll be back with some Monday night football. Looking forward to that one, y'all. But until then, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the NFL streets on Sunday.